Is life becoming easier for software developers? It's been more than a year since GPT-4 was announced. And since then, we've been bombarded with apps that make our everyday lives a little bit easier. But especially where we see the benefit is in our working lives. Previously, we made a video about AI tools that you can use if you're a content creator. And in this video, we're going to talk about AI tools that you can use in your professional life as a developer. It is important to recognize that this rush of AI powered tools, some useful, some maybe not so much, have created a minor panic among developers, thinking that they might be replaced by AI in the near future. This discussion will likely continue for a long time, but in the meantime, like with many other things in life, it is important to embrace the change and make the best of it while you can. So let's take a look at a list of AI tools that can boost your coding efficiency. One of the most common and most useful applications of AI has been coding assistants. They are either plugins to your IDEs or IDEs themselves. They can suggest snippets as you're coding. Here are the most widely used ones. GitHub Copilot, Tab9, Amazon Code Whisper, Sourcegraph Cody, and JetBrains AI. Each of these tools have similar features varying from auto-completion, coding suggestions based on natural language prompts, the ability to ask questions about the code, auto-generating comments, and chatting with an AI assistant about the code. Based on reviews online, it looks like the tools that were made by big companies like Amazon are best used for projects where you're using their own cloud services. And the star of this list is no doubt GitHub Copilot. Being the first coding assistant to be released, it is the most commonly used of the bunch. And with its latest improvement, Codepilot can now write, test and execute code all through Copilot workspace. But this claim is yet to be thoroughly tested. Another group of apps are the ones that can help you with web or app development. The most commonly used ones are UI Wizard for generating UIs, Locofy to design and import to Figma, CodeVP to create WordPress websites without coding, and literally anything to build small apps. And apart from directly helping you with the coding side of software development work, here are some ads that can help you with some side quests that you need to complete as part of your job. For example, Codium AI suggests tests as you're writing code, Mintlify Writer auto-generates docs, and Find is a useful search engine that you can ask your coding questions to. If you use some of these tools, very likely you will first be very impressed and then relieved as you start running into the limits of what they can achieve. As impressive as AI is right now, real innovation and creativity is still achieved by human developers all over the world. AI tools at the end of the day are just tools and the best we can do is to use them to make our lives easier. And before we wrap up, one important tip is if you want to use any of these tools, make sure you consult with your company and get permission because some of these tools might generate code that you might not be allowed to use professionally. By the way, before you leave, if you want a comprehensive list of all the publicly accessible AI powered development tools, you can find a link in the description to a GitHub repository that has the biggest list I've seen on the internet. Are there any other tools that you love to use that we missed in this video? Video, leave a comment and let us know. And if you want to keep learning, make sure you take a look at this video where Ryan teaches you how to automatically generate chapters for YouTube videos, just like I've done in this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.